What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of MAV where we do everything outdoors. My trolling motor is still broken. I've got a boat full of roof rack and power tools right now. Which means that I won't be doing any fishing anytime. The thing that I actually broke was this right here. This is the turning module. Anyway, there's a motor in there that spins the head. Apparently I shorted that out, so found that out a little too late. If you guys don't know the heck I'm talking about, it's in one of my previous videos, my walleye catch and cook video. But anyway, I thought that today would be a perfect time to dive into all of the modifications that I've done in like the last six months. So I have some videos on my channel talking about my truck camper setup. Um, obviously, it's a big theme with my videos is sleeping in the back of the truck, traveling on the cheap, and uh, making meals out of this thing. And there's been a lot of modifications that I've done in the last six months that I haven't really talked to the camera about. Or maybe like you're not following this channel super close and you haven't seen them all. So one of the biggest questions I've been getting or the biggest requests for videos I've been getting is to talk about the whole setup and everything that I've done and just do another overview. So that's what we're going to do today. All right, so for those of you that don't know or maybe are new to the channel, this is my 2011 F-150 FX4. It's got the 5.0 V8 engine in it. It's a 2011 and uh, it has just over 25,000 miles. I bought this thing a little over a year and a half ago with just 77,000 miles on it so I've definitely uh, put some wear and tear on it. Alright so as far as the exterior of the truck goes there's really not too much that's not stock on this thing. Um, the first thing that I did to this truck was I redid the headlights. These are uh, actually HID lights. So you can see they got the nice illumination on them. Um, these are actually the ones that the Raptor runs. In order to do that, I actually had to run, see right here, there's some new wiring. Um, how buried is that? There's actually a module tucked behind, yeah, right here. I'm running a converter from to HIDs because my truck stock couldn't run HIDs. So I'll include links to both of these things in the description. But this mod was probably around, uh, I'd say close to $500 all said and done. HID lights are expensive. See that there's like a little globe right there. That's what the HID lights are in. And then the housings were probably like another $250. So I'll put a link to that in the description. HID lights are super nice. Um, get a really good angle when I'm driving on back roads and stuff. And I, uh, I have no complaints about that. My second modification is right here. This is a, a dual battery setup. It looks a little complicated, but no, I'm not an electrician. So this is a ba battery isolator solenoid right here. Again, I'll leave links to all this stuff in the description, but essentially there's a couple 150 amp fuses, um, some really long wires, and it runs all the way into the back of my truck to the top right there and is connected to a marine AGM battery. This allows me to use an inverter and charge up things when I'm on the road. <coughs> These are nothing really that special. These are just some roof rack bars, um, toolie bars and they have like the footings on them. I actually found these on Craigslist. Ended up buying those for like 150 bucks. They're like a $300, $400 bar, I think. And then on the back, I actually have Yakima. So I got two cross-branding bars on here, which is funny. Um, moving around. I mean, you guys kind of already know or are familiar with all this stuff. This is my roof basket. It's just a Thule basket. Um, these are traction recovery boards. If you guys don't know what those are, there's a lot of videos showing those on YouTube. And then uh, I have a coal pin mount up there with a, with a shovel, the full size shovel to dig, uh, dig holes, dig you, out of, dig you out of the sand or if you gotta go take a poop. Um, if you're wondering what this big long tube is right here, maybe you don't know, but that is my, my rod tube. Um, it's just a custom made 10 foot conduit kit. And you can see it has a fly rod in there right now. And then this right here is my 270 degree awning. Um, just installed that not too long ago. Really excited about it. Probably one of the coolest things that's on my truck. I was really gonna try to figure out how to make one of these, but now. So moving on to the inside of the truck. So you guys are gonna notice that it looks a lot a bit different in here. So the other day, I actually took my rear seats out, which was both scary and exciting um, and heavy. So I, actually, so I actually ended up breaking on my impact driver, taking out some bolts in the back and uh, removing my back seats. After some finesse and willpower, I got those things out of there. Definitely want a friend if you're gonna take out your rear seats. Those things are freaking heavy. I know I 
hit myself with some pieces of metal a couple different times. I actually used the bolt holes from the seats to anchor down some pieces of wood so I could fit this big old, um, what is it, like a camp table in here. So you can see the pieces of wood are right here. They're anchored back there. I could show you what's going on, but it's kind of difficult. But I really like this table. Um, it's actually made by a company called Camp Chef. And it's a camping table, obviously. But this flap zips up and goes out of the way. Um, there's four boxes here so I can kind of organize my stuff. Right now I just have like dry foods and whatnot in these two. Um, I have like a first aid kit and then just like kind of random like road flares, uh, thermocell stuff, extra trash bags, you know. Um, and I do need to move this. This is a nine gallon jug of water. This is a safety hazard right now. It is ratchet, ratchet strap down, but if I got in a car accident, I don't know if I really trust this ratchet strap or this bottle to not fly out and hit me right in the dome piece. So besides like dry food and whatnot, I keep my skateboard back here. I've got flip flops, um, my skateboard shoes, some Nike blazers. I've got my waders, a rain jacket, water. Um, I kind of just threw a toilet paper roll, or sorry, a not a toilet paper roll. Well, like you could use this as toilet paper, but um, I kind of just threw a paper towel roll up here, and then just kind of throw my hats and coats and stuff up there. Um, and then we got like a little little pliers up here for taking fish off and whatnot. These are the ones that I bring fly fishing. Not really sure if this is gonna live here. Don't really like it because it kind of just randomly does this. So I might need to find a different spot for that. Um, I always have like several different bags back here, one of which being my camera bag. And this is kind of like my boat bag for when I go in my boat. Underneath my seat here, I've got like a portable um, cutting board and knife set. That thing's pretty sweet. Got my fly rod over here. Um, right here, I have a zero degree sleeping bag. It's gonna start getting cold here in Minnesota, um, so I'm definitely gonna need that in the future. Another thing I just did was I got these Velcro patches for the back of my truck. Seat heads, or the headrests, have these pouches that have Velcro on the back and they stick to it. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put in these yet. Right now I just got some ammo and some uh, and a headlamp in that one. My doors definitely need some reorganization. This kind of just gets stuff thrown in it when I need it. Out of different bags and stuff quickly. Um, got a few books in here too. Bushcrafting. Flowers of Elgern El El Elgernon. Elgernon. Little journal. And a 35 millimeter camera that doesn't have a lens on it right now, which is not good. That's pretty much it. Just some random snacks back there. All right, and on this side, I've got one of those Velcro patches, but this is a first aid kit, so you can just quickly tear that off and bring it to somebody if you need to. And it's also very visible, so anybody that's coming to your truck on scene can find that thing. It's pretty sweet. This is uh, my refrigerator room on the road. I think you guys know enough about this, but this is how I keep my stuff cold. It's made by Dometic. It's got a bunch of junk in it right now but this is what runs off of my battery, which actually just got upgraded and I'm excited to show you guys. All right, so probably one of the most important things that's back here is this, this is a lift assist. Um, although I kind of installed this crummy, as you can see it kind of wobbles around. It does a really good job. Um, they make this for all different kinds of trucks, so I'll leave a link to this one in the description below. It'll be for my F-150, but you will need to select which truck you have in order for the correct kit. But this thing's super nice because this year truck didn't have a didn't have a lift assist on it, so this thing would just constantly slam down, and that got really old after a while. You also might notice that I don't have ridges on my bed, um, on my tailgate. Sorry, not my bed. I have ridges on my bed, not on my tailgate. So I used to have one of these cr kind of crummy plastic bed liners back here. Um, I can't remember what company makes this. I will find it and link it below. But it's just kind of a, I mean, it's not the best quality one in the world. See, it's kind of like bent and stuff. 
and I actually did buy a used one to save some money, but it's a stainless steel cover for the back. So I'm cooking out of this thing all the time, cleaning fish, um, putting up, you know, cooking grills and yeah, cooking, like just cutting up stuff. I don't know. What, what, what else do you really need a flat tailgate for besides cutting stuff and cooking on? So this is super nice. The only thing that is not so nice about this is that it's pretty slick when it's wet. So my plan is, is I'm going to put like some kind of grip tape material or something on this side. But I haven't really decided which side I use more because when I slide my drawers out, like having grip tape on either side is going to kind of not be amazing. But um, there's that. I know I've been getting a ton of questions on this, so now you guys will finally know where I got this. As far as this goes, I mean, this is just my kitchen. I did end up getting some new spice holders. My grill pooped the bed on me last time, so I need to go get that returned and exchanged. And then, yeah, that's, that's basically it for the kitchen. If you guys want me to go more in depth on this thing, um, let me know, but I don't really see a reason to right now. This is kind of just a quick overview of everything in the truck. This side, same kind of thing. I mean, usually there's clothes in here, but I've been using it mainly for random things lately. Uh, new tool bag, got a spare solar panel down here from Goal Zero. Got a big ax back here for splitting wood, yoga pad. And then this thing is actually kind of worth its weight in gold. I've only used it one time so far, but it's a microfiber towel, so I think it dries out fast. It packs down really small, and it's really nice not to have a full-size towel when you're on the road. How's it going there, mulch man? Pretty good. You tired of listening to my voice yet? Keep on trucking. Yeah, keep on trucking. I, I gotta finish this thing up so I can help you. Uh huh. You don't have to be humble, I know you're getting old. Oh, I had a birthday yesterday, I feel old, but... One thing I don't really show the camera too much is obviously my camera mount, so... This is a suction cup mount I put on here. And it lets me get... Shots like this. You know, like bird's eye view kind of thing. It's on a quick release so I can take it off on and, on and off really fast. Um, this is my best modification ever, having spare Gatorade bottles back here. Um, you never know when you're going to need to take a leak in the middle of the night. Got these like, got more Velcro pouches here. These are just holding like my um, straps for my awning. Got another open pouch there. Not really sure what I'm going to do with that pouch yet, but we'll find something. And then this is kind of the meat and the potatoes back here. Um, this is the new Yeti 3000X by Goal Zero. They actually sent me this big Haas. This thing is pretty sweet. Um, so I have it connected on my roof right now to a 100 watt solar panel. And then right here, you can actually see, uh, they sent, also sent me the Yeti Link, which means that this thing will also charge when the truck's driving. So no more worrying about that AGM battery dying because I have solar and I have a lot of amp hours um, being stored on this thing. So it has a car port that's 12 volt and up to 13 amps. It's got two DC ports, which are 12 volt and 10 amps. It's got one 120 volt AC. It's got a 60 watt USB-C plug-in. So that means I can literally just plug my, um, MacBook charger right into there and not even have to have that big, like, clunky power bank. I'm going to be able to charge my boat with this thing. So, I'm going to plug an extension cord into this thing and when I'm towing my boat around, man. So by no means do you need something like this if you're going to be a weekender, like a weekend camper or whatever. But I got this so I can go on the road and be off grid for a long time. Um, although that hasn't happened yet this year, you know, maybe this winter to get out of the snow. So if I find myself not driving a lot and I want to plug in some more external solar power, um, I can do that. If you guys are looking at getting something like some external power for your truck, or car, oh man. <coughs> so the Goal Zero one's gonna be lithium ion, it's gonna be lighter, it's gonna already have the inverter built in, and uh, it's just gonna be like, in an all-in-one like, inclusive, uh, comprehensive platform, like you can just grab it and go, 
rather than like have to have an inverter like this wired up and go all crazy. But um, anyway, I'll leave links to these two things in the description. Goal Zero doesn't pay me or anything. They did send me this product for free, so I am a little biased, but um, I don't endorse things on this channel that I don't believe in. There's a lot of companies that I say no to, um, and I've had even power companies reach out to me and try to try to give me some free product, but I believe in their stuff. Um, I've been using it for a while now, and I'm really excited to be partnered with them. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else back here to show you guys. I mean, this is just a cargo net that I put um, and I've been getting a lot of questions about like what I mounted these to. So this is actually like my roof rack had tracks that mounted onto the topper. And that's just kind of the, the product of the tracks. They had like screws that came down. So I just thought I'd utilize those and hang my, uh, hang my cargo nut that way. Um, and if you guys didn't know, I did end up breaking my back windshield right here. Um, the slider window broke on it. So... The way I made that better was I just completely made my uh, my window a pass-through, and the way I did that is with a bike tire. So this is just like a 16-inch bike tire, I believe. You can see there's a little filler nozzle right there. Fill it up with air and seal off the truck. One thing I did forget to mention was that, oh, Nice. I did put airbags on my back suspension. I did make a video completely on that, and it wasn't that long ago, so I feel like if you're tuned into this channel, you probably saw that. So if you guys are interested in anything, um, please let me know in the comment section below. Like, let me know what you'd want to see that I didn't cover. I feel like I did a pretty good job this video covering everything. But, um, yeah, one thing that I'm doing really soon is I'm actually putting a new roof rack on, which I'm very, very excited about. And then uh, another thing that I'm probably, I mean, maybe I'll make a video on it, but maybe you can guess what, what's happening. Yeah, so <sighs> never ending over here. Go, go, go. So thank you guys very much. Um, I probably should get helping with my dad on this mulch here. But yeah, if you guys have any questions on the truck, want to know anything more, feel free to reach out on Instagram at Maverick Jose, or leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. But I gotta get helping dad on planting lambs here. Is that what you're doing? I guess we're planting lambs here and laying mulch. So thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, my name is Maverick, and you're near the drill. Just keep on trucking.